Hello, this is Richie from PlayStationCountry.com and today we're taking a look at Takedan Kiwami. I think that's how you pronounce it, I'm probably wrong. So this game, however you pronounce it, is very Japanese as you can probably tell and you can also tell it's by Koei Tecmo because for some reason they insist on putting their little logo-y thing in the top right hand corner on Share Factory, which is really annoying. But the game itself is by Amiga Force, who are best known for making about 500 or so Dynasty Warriors games across every format that's ever existed. So anyway, what is this game about? Well, Dynasty Warriors is probably a good place to start because it's sort of like a Dynasty Warriors game, but you don't have the epic crowd battles and the loads of people running around creating chaos. Instead, you've just got a few demons. At least on the early levels, it's all very sort of sedate and normal like this. And you run around basically doing damage. You've got a few different types of weapons. There's um, swords, there's fisty glove things, there's gauntlets. Let's call them gauntlets, eh? Um, there's all sorts of things, spears and loads of weapons, but you've also got guns, which are a little bit crap, and bows that make the game much, much better than I initially thought it was. So the idea of the game, or at least the plot, is that you're defending the Midlands of Japan. Um, I don't know if Japan's got a Birmingham, but anyway, you're defending it against demons known as Oni. Oni? Oh god, how do you even pronounce anything in Japanese? Anyway, I don't care. And after you've dealt with like a few levels of just little popcorn enemies that are easy to kill, you come up across big bastards like this guy who take a lot more figuring out. And the idea is generally to keep hitting them and eventually you'll take off one of their limbs or claws or something and you want to stand over that and purify it and that will make it disappear from the battlefield and therefore it can't hurt you with that weapon again. At least I think that's the idea. And that's pretty much what the game's about. And for the first three hours of it, I was thinking, this is absolute bollocks. I was really, really fatigued by it straight away and thinking, I just don't want to have to review this. It's going to take ages and it's rubbish. And it's so Japanese. As this cutscene will show you, I'll just let this one kind of play out. But then after three hours or so, it started getting, I don't know if I felt like it was getting better, but it certainly started getting a bit more addictive. And then after about another three hours, I was just hopelessly addicted to the game, really enjoying it, and that's where I started realising what a good game it is. You see, it all just comes down to the fact that the combat's great, or at least it is if you're picking the right weapons. Like I said, I didn't really enjoy the melee too much, but with the bow, I really do enjoy the game. I like the fact that the AI is good, I like the fact that there's loads of different things to upgrade, there's loot in the game and whilst it's not as exciting and good as the Diablo 3 loot system it's still pretty addictive and just upgrading things and getting more proficient with weapons and making them better it's always a recipe for good addictive gameplay. This game's not for everyone clearly but I don't normally enjoy this sort of thing and I'm really into Takedan and I'm still enjoying playing it now. So check it out and check out PlayStationCountry.com because like Yamato says, we have the accommodations prepared for you. Yamato, Yamato, fuck it, let's call the whole thing off.